This is my offset winged airplane. In the last video, I proved you guys, Josh Bixler, and most importantly, my dad, wrong, that an airplane like this could in fact fly. That's impossible. <laughs> but it seems like that might not have been conclusive enough for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing some more experimentation with the offset winged airplane to hopefully answer your guys' questions a little bit more conclusively. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna test out is ground effect. We're gonna have to practice this. This is gonna be a lot of work. Alright, I, I think it's that wing is falling apart. So we've got some more globulars on here, as Alex would say. A little globulation, so we glob the glue on there and then screwed the screws through the globs for superior strength. We got some more triangulations over here. So it's less wobbly, but heavier, so let's see. Oh. Woo. Okay, it feels good now, it feels good. Yes, okay, it feels a lot better now. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Oh. oh my god, what the heck? Uh oh. It's going in. Oh, it's going. <laughs> okay, that was it. That was it. When it got low to the ground, it was like definitely going to one side. It, it was. It was going this way. Yeah, which the, you'd expect. So we're out here again because I'm putting FPV on it. I wasn't completely satisfied with how low I got to the ground. So hopefully this will help me. I got it in the back here. So I'm gonna go all the way as far down the road as I can, as low as possible. Yeah! <laughs> the battery died again? <laughs> so you did, you felt it that time. I think so. It was drifting this way, definitely. But to keep it level, I did have to kind of use the rudder, I think. I definitely felt ground effect going right, and I noticed myself. Going. I was drifting towards. You were going the left. You're going left. It was going left, yeah. yeah. And you had to pull it to the right. I had to pull it to the right, definitely. Let me see your left hand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the first experiment ground effect. The question was how much does ground effect affect this airplane? So obviously, ground effect was definitely going to have an effect. One wing is just physically closer to the ground. And by the way, I'm no good explainer, but ground effect is basically just when a wing gets close enough to the ground, it will create a cushion of air between the ground and the wing, which creates more lift. So what did I experience from that flight? Well, I definitely, definitely felt ground effect. And in the video, you can even see me drifting uh, to the left <laughs> because the right wing is lower and that was creating more lift and I felt it wanting to go to the left. And I definitely had to counteract it with both the aileron and also the rudder in order to keep it that low to the ground. But what this experiment showed me was that yes, I do feel the ground effect, but also not only is it counteractable with aileron and rudder, but it was pretty easily counteracted with those two. And with the original idea of the first video to show that the flying car and the swing wing 
aren't really affected by that offset. I think that this proves that. The wings are so close together that the ground effect would be even less noticeable and possibly not noticeable at all. So hopefully that's ground effect answered. But now I gotta answer all the rest of your guys' questions. So let's go back to the field. So in the last video, I didn't turn left, or no, I didn't turn right, but- You did turn right. Was it I turned right? Yeah. I did turn right once. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you didn't I only, explain it. But I was going in, I was going in circles because I'm just not good at turning. It's left, right. I think it's left. Yeah, because we go, we go counterclockwise I'm all the time. I'm not good at turning left. This thing will turn left though. So I'm gonna prove that right now. No, 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 no. What? Left is the way Left. we always fly. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's pretty bad when you don't know. <laughs> I'll find out. I'll tell you Coming which way. Wise, I'll tell you which way it is when I get in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right is the way I don't like turning. This is good. I, I like turning this way. This is natural. Uh oh. There it is. There it is. Look at that. It's turning right fine. So this is hands off like this. And it's pretty trimmed out and it'll just fly in a circle clockwise or counterclockwise no effect whatsoever now i'm gonna turn the way i like turning there you go that's hands off and it'll just fly <laughs> there you go keep a little too close to the trees there hands off it'll fly in a circle left or right all right, but not, not to confuse people though, let's fly in a straight line, hands off too. Let's get it up there. All right, hands off, hands off. I mean, I used the rudder. It's not perfectly trimmed. It's not a perfect air, but that's hands off perfectly. No hands, no hands. There we go. Let me do a glide too. All right, I'm gliding. This is gliding. This thing's heavy, so <laughs> it doesn't glide fast. good. But there you go. <laughs> Let me also do barrel rolls too. Let me do a barrel roll. Okay, there we go. Left hand band barrel roll. Let's do a right hand barrel, barrel roll roll. Same thing, same thing. Yes. Oh, some other people were talking about pitch. So I'm gonna try to do a loop. <laughs> it's not powerful enough. All right. There's a loop. Feels pretty normal. Other than it being heavy. Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> I think that's it. I think I, I think we did everything. We we saw the pitch. People were talking about pitch being weird. Pitch felt super normal. I did the loop upside down. Barrel roll left, barrel roll right. Felt normal. Turning left, turning right, gliding. And okay. also, so this is after trimming it out. This is what the surfaces look like, flat. They're not deflected, trimmed out, or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty conclusive. Oh, I think we did it. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that answers all your guys' questions. The plane turns left, right, does loops, rolls, ground effect affects it, but not that much, and it flies straight, too. So, first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the first offset wing video. That video is still getting a lot of views, and I can't believe the amount of comments, and also the amount of paragraphs written in the comments. It's absolutely amazing. And I've even hit 10,000 subscribers now, which is mind blowing. So thank you guys so much for subscribing, commenting and liking and following me along on this journey. So before I let you guys go, I'd like to show you something I've actually been working on for a while. So this thing is going to be permanently in the background of all my videos. And you guys can get your names written on it and be in every single one of my videos. So maybe you guys already guessed it, but I've created a Patreon. So this YouTube thing is kind of getting pretty serious now, which is crazy to think about. And I'd like this to be my career. Who wouldn't? So if you guys would like to support me, this would be an awesome way to do it. And this could possibly allow me to do this full time, which would be amazing. And I have a lot of big videos coming up very soon, and this can help me make those videos bigger than I could have ever done before. So if you do want your name on my wall, the first tier is $1 a month. And not only will you get your name on the wall, but you'll also get exclusive Patreon content. So like 
For this video, you would have been able to already see some footage of it flying near the ground and I could have talked to you guys about how it went and all kinds of stuff to update you before the video is even up on YouTube. So you guys don't have to wait so long. And then there's a second tier, which I'm actually pretty scared about, but I'm gonna do it. Early access to videos. At least one to two days early, I will promise that. And I'd also like to eventually, this is not a promise, but I'd also like to eventually have the videos a whole week earlier. But don't hold me to that. That's just one of my dreams for this. I don't think I'm organized enough with this YouTube stuff yet. And then there is another tier, which is a very special tier. It's $20 a month, which is quite a leap forward. But I am really excited about it because I'm stealing this idea from Stuff Made Here, actually. I will send you guys something cool, something cool, once every year. It could be any time, random times, you gotta be ready, but it could be anything. I could send you guys a piece of the wing from this offset winged airplane. I could send you guys the tail that I replaced on my V2 swing wing. I could send you guys a little broken 3D printed piece from the flying car. I could sign all these pieces, and I could even give you guys, possibly, a whole swing wing mechanism, a whole possibly working airplane playing from a video or even something from future videos like a controller that would be so awesome or even merch if you'd like it so yeah thank you guys so much i want to say the best thing you can do is watch my videos like them comment subscribe but if you guys do want to take it to the next level that's what this is for so that's it i'll see you guys in the next episode peace